Alright, so welcome back to part 3. And from the previous uh, video, we have already signed up and also signed in. But we not yet uh, ha know how to, we not yet do the encryption password yet. And also keep the user login if, uh, yeah. So after they already sign in and sign up, we have to store the session. So to do so in this video, we will focus on how to encrypt the password when the user is um, create the account and also how to compare the password, the hash password. So to do that, we need first, we need to choose bcrypt.js bcrypt uh, right here. And also we need to use express session to store the session of the user after they already sign in. So go ahead and copy this and install. I'm gonna paste it here, bcrypt.js right here. And one more express.session Great, so now we already installed. So this is the code. So if you have, so I already pushed it to GitHub so you can get from the commit part two. And let's go to into user model. Um, model user. So, so here we have the static find user when they log in if the user, if they have the user. So we return the uh, successful the return the user and then we lock in and so here we will create the method uh, uh, so the pre so build in from the mongoose user dot pre so so this means like pre save so like before saving what I want you to do to just to do um so to to encrypt my password so this is so notice here, if you use arrow function, this is not going to work. I tried it, so it's happened for me many times. And then we're going to use this user equal to this. I will explain what is this does. So the this right here is referred to the, the this user right here. So if you don't want to use this, you can just click a this dot user, uh, this equal user. So what we want to do if user dot is modify modify password so so if the password has is modified we want to encrypt it so otherwise we not so what we want to do is to bring in the bcrypt.js can't bcrypt um, equal to require bcrypt.js right here and then we hit save. So if the password, if, if the user is modified, but the password is modified, what we want to do is user.password is equal to await bcrypt.hash user.password. And also this is the round, like the false that we want to hash. So most commonly we use eight. So go ahead and this eight. And then after that, we do next. So this is the middleware of it. So I think there's app crash right here. Oh wait, so we need, when we use a wait, we need, don't forget to use a thing right here. So now we, so before, if the user is signed up, we be able to encrypt the password. So now let's go ahead and do it. I'm using Postman here. So first I need to connect to the uh, back end. So, um, so this is our previous user we create with uh, email and then the password with the plain password. And now what we wanted to do is to go to the same. We go to the auth slash sign up. And then in the body, I think it's auth sign up, right? So user route here our sign up. We need the pa we need the email and pass email and password. So what I'm gonna do do email. So let's say hello at gmail.com and the password is going to be let's say one two three four five now if I hit send sign up successfully a uh, message successfully created and then if we refresh this one we've created a hash password right here so which is awesome so remember the hash password we cannot decrypt it so if if I suppose if I try to lock in with this password 
it it's not being it's not going to work so what I need to do next is to here we don't want just to find a user we want to find by the email first and then we want to check if there's a user or not if there is a user if not if there's no user we just return if not user we will return null so this means there's no user then we want to check if the password is much um, if the password is much to the the password that the, the, the user give it to us so what we want to do is check is much is equal to await bcrypt dot compare so we want to compare the password and with the user dot password and then if it's not much if it's not much we just return l if it's much then we just return user so i'm go ahead and delete right here so now it's like this so so let me explain so this is we just use bcrypt compare we compare the password that the user gave it to us the plain type password with the hash password that we have right here so then when you compare it, if it's true, then it will return, uh, if it's true, if it's not true, then it will just return empty. If it's true, return user. And then in here, in our sign in, if there's user, we will successfully log in, that else unable to log in. So now let's go to sign in. And then we post the same name, the same this one. I think there's some error right here. Promise. Let's see what is the error. String undefined. Hmm. So let's go into here a little. Password type. User. Let's first try to console the logs, the user right here. So when we try to log in, we want to see uh, the user to make sure I have the same route, which is great. So now I post this one. So, okay, we can be able to see the user right here. But this one is, is wrong because of the I just find all instead I just find one and then we can do this so once again I click so you just really lock in so it just compare we first they take this password and then they do hash after they hash they compare with this one is it equal or not if you try to copy and paste all of this as a password password here and then it will wrong so let, let me show you so now if I go to this session, I can grab all this password. I can copy this one. I paste it here. Now if I sign in, it's unable to log in. So it, you cannot use this one. So the hash password is, is a one-way hashing. So you cannot, um, you cannot use other password. Unless you cannot use the hash password to log in. All right, great. So now we'll be able to locked in and also encrypt our password so next next up so what we want to do after they create a password what we want is to check if they are authorized or not let's say we want to keep the user stay locked in so we need to use express session right so first i'm going to create a router dot po dot get let's say we do r slash has sign in like already sign in or has sign in let's get so what we wanted to do is to check read the session and how do we read the session first we need to start a session right so we use express session right here so first i'm going to install the and set the, the middleware here use session right here so first in our express right here i'm going to get the session uh, 
Khan session equal to require express session. Right? And then, so what, what, what we wanted to do is to use the session. So, so this is what, what we need to do. So we need to pass this one right here. I'll go and um, copy this one. And then, so this is the secret and secure true here. So we need HTTPS since we use localhost. I change this to fall. And this is the secret, so you can use anything you want. So I call this is secret. All right, great. So now we will be able to get our session. So in here, so what we need to do after they click sign in, so what we want to do is to, so what we want to do to, to store the session. So request a session dot user equal to user ID. So we just want to store the user ID and same things when after we lock in as well. So we lock in if it's successfully. So we store it right here. Great. So now we'll be able to store the session. So in here we need to read the session. So if request dot session dot user if there is a session, what we want to do rest.json. So what we want to return to us is true. It's true, and then that we we should we could explain the message. Let's say you are log in, uh, you are signed in. Yeah, sign. Yeah. So else. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. So, L if it's not, there's not user. So what we're gonna do is just return press.json um, R is equal to false. And then the message, you are not logged in. So we just return this one right here. Great. So now if I try to go to the R's, uh has, Sign it. I believe this one. Okay, paste here. And then we do the get request, and I get this one, and then follow the us that I'm not locking. So first, then I need to lock in. Sign in, and then I do post, and the password right here is one two three four five, and then we can see that I'm locking it's true. So then I check if I'm uh, already signed in, I do get, which is true. So this is true. So I am blocking. So I think, so this is it. So we have to, so, so everything, so we have already encrypt user password and already uh, store the session of the user that keep the user locking. So I think this is it for this video and in the next video we will use this one to connect to the front end and yeah, see you in the next video.